Hey everyone, today I'll be tearing down this Toyota Prius engine into all these different parts, so stick around. Alright, welcome back to the channel. So if you remember, I uploaded a video a couple days ago uh, with my 2013 Toyota Prius swap. So this is that bad engine out of that car. It had a fail head gasket and was starting to make a lot of noise. So I'll be tearing this down all the way to the bare block. I do want to start off with removing anything on the outside of the engine, the exhaust manifold right here. Followed by the EGR system and the intake manifold. Next up we have the fuel injectors and the fuel rail, three bolts holding that whole assembly in place. These surprisingly came out with very little effort. I'll be moving on to the electric water pump. There are several bolts in the front that hold that in place. And uh, on the other side of that is the thermostat assembly. So I'm not really sure what the plan is for this engine right now. I just want to tear it down, have a look at the bearing surfaces, see if there's any damage to them. I know that the oil has coolant mixed in with it and that the engine was making some noise. Now the oil pan cover, um, I know it's going to get bent as I'm taking it out. I'm prepared for that. I will most likely just buy another cover. Um, really no way around this. So as I'm taking off the oil pan cover, I'm looking for any metal shavings, um, any signs of bearing failure. And so far it's looking pretty good. I didn't see any shavings, so, so far so good. Before I proceed, I want to rotate the crankshaft and the cams into top dead center. So line up the mark with the crankshaft, uh, make sure the mark on the camshaft is pointing 12 o'clock and this mark pointing around 2 o'clock. Next up is the timing chain tensioner. Now that everything is uh, in the right position, I'm going to take off the front timing cover.
Okay, so the timing cover is off. Uh, as you can see, it's a pretty simple setup here. We got a uh, the main chain that drives the two camshafts, and then we also have a secondary chain driving the oil pump. So as I'm removing these camshaft journal caps, um, I'm going to turn them around and take a look at the surfaces, make sure there's no scoring. And it's looking pretty good so far. Everything is looking brand new. There's no marks or anything. So I'll be able to reuse these um, without having to replace anything. Obviously, I'll have to clean up all the surfaces and replace the head gasket. But after that, I should be good to go. With the camshafts out of the way, there is this cradle that you lift up. Uh, after that's out of the way, uh, you can finally get access to the cylinder head bolts. The bolts will have to be removed using a triple square bit like this. So I want to bring the cylinder head back and take a look at the head gasket and see where it might have failed and right away I can tell there is a spot right here in the upper right hand corner. Uh, that's definitely uh, one of the spots that failed, same thing on the other side. So we're almost down to the bare block. I'm gonna take off this half of the um, engine or cradle or whatever you wanna call it. Remove that and then I'll be able to get to the pistons and rods. Here I am removing the bearing caps. Also checking the bearing surfaces, make sure that they're not damaged. And now that I have the rod bearing caps removed, I can push on the rod and slide the piston out from the top. Uh, as I'm sliding this out, I want to make sure that the connecting rod doesn't scratch the cylinder walls. So the last thing on the list is the crankshaft itself. Uh, I'm gonna first remove the crankshaft bearing caps.
And as I remove these, I want to take a look at the bearings themselves. Um, so far, it's looking really good. They actually look brand new, no wear, no scratches or scoring. So I'm going to clean these up and reuse this when I put this back together. Once those are out of the way, the crankshaft can be lifted out. I'm going to take out these bearings and the very last thing are these oil squirters. So that's going to do it for the teardown. I've placed everything out on the table. I'm going to order a new cylinder head gasket. I'm going to order all of the uh, necessary O-rings and put this thing back together, obviously after cleaning it up. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.